Well, uh, we had a, a tough year in, in 2009. Uh, we've had uh, tremendous weather challenges. We've had trade challenges. We've had economic challenges. And it's been really, really tough. Uh, my heart goes out to farmers uh, because uh, they, they are really gamblers in a sense because they've got to depend on so many things that are beyond their control. Uh, but they are hardworking and they do a great job in producing the best food and fiber anywhere in the uh, uh, industrialized world, uh, the most economical, the highest quality, and the safest. And so we've got to do everything that we can possibly do to make sure that they continue to do that. Now, uh, with respect to uh, uh, next year, uh, I'm expecting that uh, we will try to work hard to get the trade issues uh, worked out so that we can export uh, the agriculture that we produce here in southwest Georgia, uh, in Georgia, and in the United States. Uh, there have been some difficulties with China, for example, and uh, a few other countries uh, that have been restricting access to our products. Uh, we're working on that uh, because it's got to happen. Uh, the pecan industry, for example, the peanut industry, uh, need to be able to have access to other markets just as uh, uh, we give access to their markets. Uh, what we ultimately want for American farmers and for Georgia farmers is for a level playing field. Uh, we need a level playing field, and if they have it, we've got some of the best, some of the brightest, some of the most creative and ingenious farmers anywhere in the world. And uh, we just want them to have uh, a fair shake because they can compete, and they can compete well, and they will do well. Uh, we are there to work and to serve the American people, and we're going to do our dead level best to do that. Uh, issues like cap and trade that are so controversial and so difficult, uh, climate change is really how, how it's uh, properly identified. Uh, it's been a really, really tough time trying to deal with that controversial issue. Uh, as the bill was developed in the House, uh, it was not agriculture friendly. And so uh, Colin Peterson, the chairman of the House Agriculture Committee, and a number of us in the Blue Dog Coalition uh, fought to stop that bill or to block it until some concessions were made uh, and some agriculture friendly provisions were put in there. Uh, we were not able to get it to our satisfaction, but we got a lot of things uh, that would give some relief uh, from the, the burdensome aspects of the bill to American agriculture, to Georgia agriculture. That was good, but we also knew that if we could get it out of the House, away from some of the people who had drafted it, and into the Senate, uh, that there were people in the Senate who were much more reasonable and whose views were much more consistent with ours. And so it's in the Senate, and I suspect that uh, uh, if it comes out of the Senate, uh, it will have to be changed to be much more um, uh, friendly to southeastern agriculture, which the original bill that went from the House was not.